Hello, my name is Namai. Today I will be talking about how I motorized the Lego Technic McLaren Formula One race car, set number 42141. To motorize this, I have used one power function servo motor for steering, two powered up large motors for driving, and one Boos 3.0 Pro. To make space for the motors, I had to remove these two T-bone pieces from here and here. This, however, does not affect the stability of the differential part in any way. To connect the two motors together, I used these two lift arms. I also used 3L clips to connect the motor to the car later. To connect the motors to the car, I used two copies of this structure. They connect to these L-beams right over here. To connect the motors to the car, I, connect the, I connected these two clips to these two holes and I connected these two axles which will be attached to the car to the motors. To channel the power of the two motors into one axle, I used these three pieces, a bushing, a five a five length two well two headed axle and a twelve tooth gear. To connect the motors to the pistons and ultimately the rear wheels, I use this mechanism. They contain of two clip joiners, four black clips, one of these pieces, a one-headed four axle, two, um, me, two gray gears, a, a axle joiner, a one-headed three axle, and a five and a, a five L lift arm. Originally, this structure was in the pistons I had that went here, here, and here. I had to replace it for two half-clip half-axles to make space for the axle. To make space for the servo motor, I had to remove two 15L lift arms that went here and here. They connected this to this, so I had to make space. So I had to connect them using other methods. To connect the front wheels to the car, I used I replaced the 15L lift arms with these 7L lift arms that went here and here. As you can see, the servo can now fit right here. Originally, there was a longer axle and some other parts that connected the front wheels to the steering wheel. I had to replace it. I had to replace them with this axle to make space for the servo. Since this front part is now only connected by these seven beams, it is very unstable and can break easily. To solve this, I added two 9L lift arms at the bottom, then connected them using these two structures. To create space for the Boost 3.0 Pro, I removed the seat and steering wheel. 
There was also some space after I removed the 15L lift arms for the servo motor. To connect the buoys to the car, I created these two structures, connected them together, and made another copy of them. So these structures, so I added these four pins here, then I connected the structures to them. To connect the motors to the buoys, I channeled the cables through these two axle joiners and through this hole. While making space for the servo motor, I also had to remove a piece that held this structure. I put it back with some modifications, but I moved it one stud forward to make space for the buoys. Finally, to, to make sure everything was equal, I moved these two pairs of black pins back by one stud. Now I will show you a demo of this car in the air. This is forward and backward, left and right. It can, both can work at the same time properly. And the pistons move as well. Here is a demo of the car on the floor.